In Rich Gedman's role as the hitting coach for the Pawtucket Red Sox, Getty balances working with players on the physical side of the game, their stance, their hands, etc., with the mental side of the game, keeping guys' confidence up even when they're going through tough stretches. I'm, I'm not preparing them. They're preparing themselves. What I do is I get to be around them and remind them that, listen, when you're having tough days or bad days, that you're one swing away from feeling good about yourself and you're one injury away, injury away from being in the big leagues regardless of how you feel like you're playing. And Gedman being a former Major League All-Star catcher, he has a lot to offer, not only with hitting, but working with the catchers defensively, calling a game and giving advice to the pitchers. And when Rich talks, everyone listens. 16, 16, and we, we did again t shirt and spin training. But like, I mean, just to, just like you said, just to talk to him, like you, you feel good about it. You know, he's, he's a great guy. He knows what he's doing. And yeah, guys like Getty are great. They have a lot of experience, you know, even in the big leagues as a player. And, and you know, now he's been, a, been around a long time as a coach. So he's, he's definitely someone that you can learn from each and every day. For me to, you know, get advice from Getty, uh, all of them. Walker's great. Uh, they're the best, so I'm very receptive of what what they always have to say, and um, you know it's fun. It's fun to come here every day. There, again, we got a great locker room and better coaching staff. So, Getty is the best, and he just is such an unselfish coach. Wants nothing but the best for his players, and never ever wants the limelight himself. The Pawtucket Red Sox were rained out tonight. Assumit and Bay Path. First, we're going to go to Assumption Baseball hosting their annual Ari Schultz Day. Ari was a member of the 2017 team through Team Impact. He passed away after a heart transplant, but continues to inspire this team. The Greyhounds hosting St. Anselm's. And this is Trevor McQuaid going opposite field. RJ Libby scores. Tying the game up at two. McQuaid cruising into second with an RBI double. Still in the third, Dylan Coster with the base hit. Plating Derek Adamson and McQuaid scoring as well. 4 2 assumption. Coster 3 for 4 with three RBIs. Had a big night. James McNamara dealing in the fourth. He gets a strikeout, keeping the Hounds in front. St. A's, third baseman, former St. John's in post 397 start, Tyler McCune. And McCune doing his job at the hot corner, charging the chopper, firing a seed across the diamond, making it look easy. And that out ends the inning. Top of the fifth, McNamara dialed in. He gets the strikeout. The former Westford Academy star fielding his position well. Gets the lead runner at third, keeping the Hawks off the board. Seven innings pitch, one earned run and five strikeouts for McNamara today. Bottom of the sixth. Assumptions, Hunter Trolley with the base hit to left and the Greyhounds are threatening. And Alex Richardson coming through for the Hounds. Richardson with a base hit into center. Coster being waved home. He scores 5-2. Assumption wins game one, 9-4. They have 21 wins, and that is their most since 2010. Now, in the ring, the driving rain today. Asavit taking on Bay Path Girls Lacrosse. Scoreless in the first half, as if it's Justice Bates sweeping around the crease for the goal. 1-0 Aztecs, Bay Path streaking in, Madigan McManus, Ripples, tied up at one apiece. Bay Path on the eight meter, and the shot knocked away by Aub Audrey Nader. That's good defense. Bates rolling around in front, good fake. Bates, second goal of the game. 2-1 Aztecs. As if it's Mia Mosforafidi. On the eight meter, she winds up. Laser time for the goal, 3-1 Aztecs. Bates trying the backhand. Blocked by the goalie, but Bates staying with it and thinking scoop and score. Collects, ripples down low, 4-1 Aztecs. Bay paths, McManus. Another twine finder, the Minutemen are within two. Then Bay paths, Anna Bonin, eight meter. She gets the goal to make it a one goal game, but Asabit pulls away. Asabit gets the win today, 17-7 is your final. Jermaine Ortiz is the main event this Friday night at the Twin River Casino and their fight card, Ortiz, taking on Vitor Jones, who is 15-4. It will be the toughest test so far for the undefeated Worcester boxer. This is going to be my toughest opponent to date. Um, I've been working real hard in the gym, 
and I like it that I, you know, it's been only eight weeks since my last fight, so I'm fresh and I'm ready to go from round one to perform. The competition is the kid's really tough. It's really good, you know. Um, so we'll see. It's gonna be bring out the best of Jermaine whenever he fights someone that that's gonna give him some competition. Now, as far as keeping him busy, that's why we went with this promoter. It was one of our choices, and um, and Jimmy Bradfield is doing it for us, and he's giving us fights back to back which our ultimate goal is to be world champion, and that's going to help us develop. All right, Jermaine Ortiz, Friday night, Twin River Casino. He is the main event. And finally tonight, the sports world in Worcester and just the Worcester community lost a great friend with the passing of Paul Cantiani yesterday. Cantiani was the man who brought pro baseball to Worcester with the Tornadoes in 2005. If he doesn't bring the Tornadoes here, you do not have the Pawtucket Red Sox coming to Worcester. His fingerprints are all over professional affiliated baseball coming to Worcester. It was Paul's dream always to bring professional baseball to Worcester. He brought it with the Tornadoes. He helped get that stadium built, and he passed away yesterday. Just a great friend to everyone. He was a former football coach as well at Assumption College. Did so much. He was the director of the parks uh, here in Worcester, but a, a great person. He was chairman of the club. And he will be deeply missed by all of his friends, including me, and my thoughts and prayers with his family tonight. Yeah, thoughts and prayers from all of us here at Channel 3. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you back here tomorrow.